Welcome to Ability Analysis, where we shall analyze all of the unlockable alternate abilities in the game before acting like a bunch of astrophysicists and pretend like we know what we're doing. Today, we shall be taking a look at the Sombrero Bean Bomb and all of its statistics and quirks. Let's get started. The Sombrero Bean Bomb is the alternate ability to the Chili Bean Bomb that can be unlocked through opening sticker packs. The ability functions exactly the same in the pea shooter tossing out an explosive bean a short distance. However, the bean itself is where the most of the differences take place. The bean's fuse is noticeably longer at 5 seconds in length and upon exploding, deals a massive 250 damage within a massive radius. Once the bean is deployed, it goes on a 30 second cooldown, giving it decent uptime. Both beans are thrown at roughly the same distance, and both beans can have some funky physics in certain scenarios. Now, to compare the two, which is better, and why? Well, the stock bean bomb offers a shorter fuse at only 3 seconds and still deals relatively high damage, allowing you to kill most classes effectively. Its blast radius is also decently large as well, though its lengthy cooldown of 44 seconds does mean that if you end up misusing it, then you'll not be able to use it again for a long time. On the other hand, the sombrero bean bomb offers a much shorter cooldown at only 30 seconds. On top of that, its explosion radius is big enough to cover entire objectives, and its massive 250 blast damage means that even the mechs are not safe from its deadly explosion, though its lengthy fuse does mean that if spotted, enemies will have plenty of time to escape from its fatal blast radius. Both beans are tossed exactly the same way when deployed. So, with the comparisons out of the way, which is better at what? Well, if you're wanting a bean that can explode relatively quickly, still deal a decent amount of damage within a large radius, and don't mind the long wait between uses, the regular bean bomb is your go-to option. If however, you're wanting a bean that not only is available much more often, but offers a much more powerful explosion both in terms of damage and size, and don't mind having the fuse be slightly longer, then the sombrero bean bomb is your go-to option. Option. As for my final verdict across all scenarios and capabilities, I would have to go with the stock bean bomb, as whilst its cooldown is rather lengthy at 44 seconds, the blast radius and damage output of the bean is more than enough in most scenarios that makes the sombrero bean bomb to be unnecessary, especially with how long its fuse is. Be sure to come back for the next episode in 2 weeks. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more shit like this. Have fun.